Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In this video, I am going to be showing you an in-depth look at my four trooper class loadouts that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So, so these are the loadouts that I typically use to play Battlefront every single day. There is some occasions, like when I get a new rarity of a star card, for example, in a crate, that I will change the loadouts up, but this is how it's mainly been since the last patch back in December. So until the next patch, this is what I've got right now. And hopefully you guys can have a look at my classes and see if you get some tips. And if you think this might work for you, try it out because I'll be giving you some tips along the way. So it's not just me showing the star cards or modifications, but, but giving you a hand at playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well. So with the Assault class, I use these three star cards, Resourceful, Improved Thermal Detonator, and Improved Scan Dart. Now, I use Resourceful because it allows me to use my grenade and my Scan Dart and Vanguard much quicker. I have it in a rare rarity. The Improved Thermal Detonator is fantastic. I have it in the Epic rarity, so it does a much bigger blast radius and it's deadly. And the improved scan dart is fantastic, especially on smaller maps. And I have the rare rarity, so I have 12 seconds of knowing where enemies are in a small location. And I use the CR2 as my main primary weapon. I do like the EL16, but I love to put on the reduced recoil on the CR2 and the ion shot. Now, the CR2 is going to be nerfed, so in a few weeks time or so we probably won't be using the CR2 as much but that is what I mainly go to right now. The heavy class I actually don't use as often as I used to. I love using the improved impact grenade. I have that in a rare rarity that's got a really nice blast radius and I also use the improved combat shield because it's fantastic at deflecting so much. You get 100 extra shield health and that is the epic rarity. We also have a controversial star card, the Supercharged Sentry. This is very, very powerful and probably is going to be nerfed. It actually just has a small little explosive blast added to each shot and I have that as a rare. I use the FWMB10K with auto cooling as my primary weapon. I need to unlock the other attachments for it to try it out a lot more, but that's sort of what I'm going with right now. As for the officer, I use survivalist, so my health regeneration is a lot quicker. So I'm typically one that's at the front lines of the battlefield. I also have officer's presence in epic, so it's a massive 40% reduction in nearby ally health regeneration. That's fantastic. It's nearly half. It's huge, and I love this star card. It gets you so much battle points. The improved battle command, I have that in epic as well, and that gets you so much... Uh, that gets you so many battle points. It's just an epic card to use. Now, this is going to be a bit controversial as well. I use the Blurg all the time with Improved Burst and Exploding Shot. I know, I know, it's controversial, but I get so many kills with it, especially in first person. If you control the recoil, it's deadly, especially on smaller maps. It's incredible. Now, I use Stealth for the Specialist as a star card. This m makes me hidden away. Now moving on to the Specialist class, this is probably my weakest trooper class. I don't really use it at all. I have Stealth in a rare rarity. This allows me to remain hidden off scanners and it has 100 increased melee damage. So that's not bad if, if you do get caught up. Reports the Cannon is an odd one. It's one that you probably wouldn't use, but I like using it. I have that in Epic because I got it in a crate. It's fantastic, actually. It's really fun to use. And I have Killstreak Infiltration equipped. Now, I should probably upgrade that, but that's what I'm going with right now. I still need to figure out that third star card slot. I use the A280 CFE. I have dual zoom on it, but I really need to work on the burst mode because that's fantastic. You need 150 kills, and I haven't got that. I'm about 20 away, but that is something to keep in mind. And the last sniper, which is the NT242, is very powerful. I haven't unlocked it just yet, but it's an incredible... But it's an incredible weapon that I would urge you to use. It's just incredible, and it's a real good one. Here's some additional advice that will help you pick what star cards to upgrade or star cards to unlock for your classes. So for example, if you really like the smart dart like myself, here's what you should do. So 
Pick an ability you really, really like. So for me, I picked the Smart Dart. I upgraded it quite a bit, so it improved it massively because it was something I would use every single game and it's something I was comfortable using. Therefore, it improved something that I was quite good at, so you got more advantages out of it. Also, if you're someone that feels like the health regeneration is too little or you need some sort of regeneration a little bit faster, go for that star card, try it out, and if you've got some spare crafting points, and if you've got some spare crafting parts, upgrade it and it will make a difference somewhat. So you've just got to try and work out what you think is the best for you. And I would just purchase a bunch of the star cards on a cheap, you know, the 40 standard, the 40 crafting part common cards and just start from there and work your way up. And to be honest, this advice is not necessarily limited to just the four trooper classes. It can go for the Enforcer, the Armor and Artillery and Speeder classes, the Intercept, the Bombers, as well as your heroes like Ray or Darth Maul. 